Hey campers, this thing's only 19 feet long, only 2,800 pounds, has three different bed setups, and it's an awesome, unique floor plan by Sunset Park RV. Let's check this thing out. Starting right up front of this 18RD, we have the power tongue jack, the two inch ball, seven pin round wiring, we do have the electric brake package on there with the uh, breakaway brake. This also has two 20 pound propane tanks and the disconnect switch back here. Then we get into our pass through storage, which I will get the keys for and show you inside of. Right underneath that, we have our stabilizer jack, which we have at each corner. That's just to go down and stabilize the unit to make it so we're stable and supported while we're inside using it. Over onto the side is our water connections with our fresh water fill up top. That's filling the tank when you're going off grid or boondocking or even pulling over on the throughway and we need to get water with water pressure. We're filling up this tank, turning on the water pump and using that for pressure. This is a city water connection right here, putting a hose onto it, turning on the uh, pressure in the water from the faucet, whether it's at our house or at a campground. All right, right here is the fire escape. Then we're going up top to the brand new Lipper on the go ladder connection. Just buy, gotta buy the Lipper on the go ladder and then you can connect it right up there. This does have the uh, walkable roof up there. Next, we've got our hood vent. Then our water heater down here. Right above that is our coaxial cable for cable and satellite. Window. Down below the window, that's our outside shower. Next to that is our tank flush, the black tank flush. There is a little warning light right above it, or warning sticker right above it, letting you know exactly how to use it and to make sure that everything's opened up before you start flushing the tank and turning it on. Next to that, underneath is our dump station and our low point drains. Gray is okay, black is for crap. Gray is draining out your drains, um, getting rid of your, you know, all your dirty water from the sink and from the shower. Over here is going to be your uh, black tank, which is your sewer and your toilet. I always rinse out the toilet first, then rinse out my, black, uh, my gray tank, just to get the rinse process going, I guess. And what I'll do is I'll rinse this out first, then I'll go through and dump another uh, gallon of water through. Then I'll rinse it out with the gray tank. All right, now onto the back. Stabilizer jack, corner bumper, this does pop off at the end so you can store things inside. Spare tires on the back, not on the front underneath. This one, we do have the back awning and the side awning. I love that feature with the double awnings on these. I love, also love that rear entrance door and the solid step. Also on these, right above the door, we have the backup camera bracket. Screen door on here as well. Over on this side, this is your outside, uh, outside access to your fridge. That's just in case you need to get any work done on it, but it's also to let it vent and breathe because this is a propane fridge or a two-way fridge. Down below is your furnace exhaust. And right below that is your outside propane connection just in case you want to hook up a grill or an outside heater. Then over here 
outside speakers, outside power, 110 outlets. Nice big window. Then the other side of the pass-through storage. All right, that is the whole outside of the camper. Now, let's walk inside and check this thing out. Again, with a beautiful solid step. First thing you'll notice when we walk in is this huge residential style fridge right here. I love that double door. Freezer. Fridge. This is a two way electric or propane. Then we go into the dinette. That dinette does fold down into a bed. At the end of the video, I will show you how the beds operate in here. Right here, some cabinets above. That is your Bluetooth speaker. Thermostat on the wall over here. Now we'll go into the front wall. Front wall. Wardrobes. This awesome little jackknife sofa. Other wardrobe here. And then the cabinets up top. So I will show you what the cabinets do here again at the end. That flips down into a bunk. This right here flips down into your main bed. That's called a Murph bed. And that takes that right out. But it does take two hands to do it. So I will show you at the end. Microwave, range and hood, three burner stove with a glass top that you can use for countertop space, but it's not tempered glass, so no hot stuff on that glass. Um, just use pads or gloves or whatnot. All right, so three burner stove here. Down below, you do have your oven. And below that, your water heater. Power, your huge sink. Down here into your cabinet there, and a drawer here, nice long deep drawer. Now over onto this wall with your carbon monoxide detector, then over into your fire extinguisher, follow that up into your master control panel right here. This is your solar controller over here. All your um, lights and your water heater, water pump. And these are a couple of your main lights here. This is also both your awning switches. Above, TV bracket and all your wiring for your TV if you'd like to put one in. Then, into our bathroom. This is an actual dry bath. Oh, sorry about that. So you have your toilet right above the toilet, an actual fantastic fan. Then you go into shower with the skylight above. Hey everyone. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Please come on back, check out all my other videos and hit that subscribe button. We have a lot more in store for 2023. Thanks for watching. Bam. All right, first I'm going to show you how to work this Murph bed. What we're going to do first is take the jackknife sofa, lift, and that pops down. Now, there's latches right here. Undo the latch, undo the latch on the other side. 
and then that nicely comes down. And right behind it is your queen size mattress. I obviously still have it brand new in the bag, so I'm not going to open that up, but that's a bifold mattress that flips over, and then you have your whole queen size mattress right here. Next, let's go into the bunk. Just to show you how this works. There we go. Same style latch on both sides. That pops down. Make sure these covered doors are latched so they don't open up on you. Then there is a piece of wood in here. Bring that piece of wood out and put it over top of the cabinet doors. Then bring that other mattress pad out. And right there is your bunk that holds up to 150 pounds. So now you have the queen size bed here and the bunk up top that holds 150. Now, without turning off the camera, just to show you guys how quick and easy this really is, taking this dinette and turning this into the bed. So you can potentially sleep comfortably at least four to five people in here, three, three comfortable adults, one small dog in the bunk up top. So now you're lifting this right up, pulling the legs off the bottom of the table. Nicely storing them away somewhere. Then what I'm doing is I'm dropping this tabletop right onto the pieces of wood that they put there for the support as it sits there on the bed. So now you have that right there ready to be cushioned up. Then you take your back cushions and put them right over your tabletop. And I am 6'2". It can easily accommodate me if I'm going diagonal. And I am a 6'2", 175 pound adult. 